Good afternoon. Welcome to the Council on Aging. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Janice Fitzgerald, the director of this beautiful building. And my staff and I are excited about this project and want to thank you for joining us today to celebrate the groundbreaking of our new parking lot. Before we get started, I just want to acknowledge some special guests. We have Mayor Robert Sullivan, Congressman Stephen Lynch, Senator Michael Brady. I don't believe we have any state reps have arrived yet. Um, city councilors, we have Council President Azak. We have some department heads, um, Mike Morris from Procurement, Troy Claxon, the Chief Financial Officer. Actually, you might want to come up here, Troy, and just stand close by. We also have Matt Grishidal from Outback Engineering. And we have right behind me folks from Dandel Construction. We also have Larry Rowley from DPW. And I know I'm going to forget some more folks. Who else am I forgetting? That's it for now, because that's in my speech. In addition to welcoming our special guests, I would like to also take a minute to thank the following people. My amazing staff, who's been putting up with me for quite a while now. Our building committee. Richard Bath, who sends his regards today, he couldn't be here. Our board of directors. Our friends of the COA. <laughs> Governor Baker. Staff from the Mayor's Office, the Enterprise, BCA, and Hutchins Florist for the beautiful donated shovel bows. Yay. Special thank you to the Brockton custodian staff. Yay. So as we mark the beginning of construction, we are reminded of what this beautiful building stands for. This building was dedicated back on June 18, 2001. We're getting close to 20 years. It was dedicated to the older adults in Brockton, a place where residents aged 60 and older could gather to socialize, participate in educational workshops, and make new friendships. Over, over the years, the Mary Cruz Kennedy Senior Center, which is named after the late Senator Thomas Kennedy's mother, continues to offer social, recreational, and educational programs, but also provides support and referrals to our seniors and their families through our outreach department. As our senior population grows and ages in place, so do the needs of our seniors, their families, and their caregivers. It is comforting for our seniors to know that we are a safe place and that we are here to help in any way we can. The Mass Council on Aging states that COAs are the focal point where older adults and their families can access the local and state network of older services, elder services. In most communities, the COA serves as the only social, social service agency. The parking lot expansion is phase one of our short-term goal. Upon completion of phase one, it is our plan to do some upgrades and updates to the interior of the building, as our older adults will have a more modern and current center to return to once we determine it's safe for our seniors to return. These upgrades will enhance our elders' experience when they come to see us and will continue to be a benefit and asset the community can be proud of. Thank you. So at this time, it's my honor and privilege to introduce Mayor Robert Sullivan. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. 
It's my honor and privilege to be here today uh, to celebrate a long, long overdue endeavor. Uh, the parking lot and site improvement plan has been in the queue for some time, and I want to take a moment to thank Janice. Um, you know, her leadership here at the Council on Aging um, prior to COVID and now with COVID uh, is exemplary. So I want to take a moment. I want to thank our friends uh, that are on the board of the Council on Aging and the friends of the COA. I want to thank everybody on the city side. I want to thank the elected officials. This is Ward 2. This is Tom Monahan's Ward. Uh, and State Rep. Jerry Cassidy's district is a portion of his district. And the collaboration with Senator Brady and Claire Cronin and Michelle Dubois and Jerry Cassidy and all the city councilors, that's what it's about, giving back to our community. And we give everything to the seniors. It's your generation that we applaud and we thank. And we wouldn't be here. Congressman Lynch wouldn't be a congressman. Mike wouldn't be a senator. I wouldn't be the mayor without each and every one of you. So I really just wanted to come here today and say thank you. Thank you for what you do to the city of champions. You are the champions in our city. This is going to be a wonderful endeavor. It really is. Long overdue. It's going to beautify. And what Janice just said is true. This is just phase one. Phase two, she's joking. She'll be retired. She won't be retired. Shh, don't tell her. <laughs> but it's when we expand this and we beautify this and enhance it. So again, on behalf of my office and everybody at City Hall, we just want to thank each and every one of you. This is a great day. It's well-deserved, and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Just for Janice. At this time, I would like to welcome Congressman Stephen Lynch. I'm not the congressman. Get it extra now. Are you ready? Oh, this is great. Well, thank you very much. And, and I do appreciate the custodian work. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, I, I'm just here along with uh, our, our Brockton delegation really to, to say thank you really to the workers that have put this all together and, and Janice's great work. I know that it's a difficult job under normal circumstances, so I can only imagine how it is right now, especially with seniors being among our most vulnerable population, uh, to keep people safe. Uh, unfortunately, having to limit our services during the coronavirus, but but doing this work so that when things do open up, uh, we'll be do we're able to do it safely. Uh, ironically, these parking lots, you know, it's much more than finding extra spots so so seniors don't have to park out on the street or across the street. Uh, but like at our our uh, health centers, the parking lots during the pandemic have really become places where we deliver services. Uh, people are being tested now out on the parking lot because it's too dangerous to bring all those people inside. So this is a great improvement. And also, uh, you know, I was a dear friend of uh, Tom Kennedy, Senator Tom Kennedy, and he could not be prouder when we dedicated uh, this building on behalf of his mother. He was a good son, but he worshiped his mom. Uh, Mary Cruz Kennedy. And, uh, you know, he really, really put his heart and soul into making this a reality. And I want to make sure that, that I give uh, great credit uh, to our mayor. Mayor Bob Sullivan has really been sort of the quarterback of our delegation. Uh, so he's great at maintaining contact with the federal side uh, in terms of the CARE Act to make sure we just uh, announced a million dollars uh, recently. Uh, for the CARES Act to help the city of Brockton deal with the pandemic. But also with Shirley as, as the uh, city council president and then our state delegation, you know, reaching out and make sure we work as a team. So uh, I want to give great credit. Jerry Cassidy's not here, but he did great work on the earmarks along with Michelle Dubois and Claire Cronin and most especially with, with our state senator, Mike Brady, who did a wonderful job making sure that this happened. So I'm just very grateful to be part of the team, and I can't wait till we get back to doing things in person. Uh, and and like uh, like Jana said, the next the next project, and as the mayor said, the next project is really to vastly and greatly improve and increase the capacity uh, of the Mary Cruz Kennedy uh, Council on Aging building. So thank you all very much. Stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you. Right. 
Um, I'd like to acknowledge Councillor Susan Castro. Um, at this time, I'd like to welcome Senator Michael Brady. Jeez, I might have to get you to clean my house afterwards. I don't know. That's a task in itself. But uh, on a serious note, let's give Janice Fitzgerald a round of applause as our director. And, and uh, as Congressman Lynch mentioned, Tommy Kennedy, who was a big advocate on behalf of our seniors in this building named after his mother, is a great testament to all the commitment he had given to our community and our city. And initially, this was helped uh, constructed with state lottery money when Shannon O'Brien was a treasurer. And things were a lot better financially in those days, and then we went through some tough times in 2008, and then we come out of that downturn and things were going good, so we were able to work as a state delegation to get the 200000 to help get this park lot constructed. But then with COVID hitting, everything got put on hold. So I want to thank Congressman Lynch who fought to get some federal dollars that are so important. And Brockton was the second highest hit community in the Commonwealth when the initial COVID. And I know our numbers are very serious now, so we've got to take this uh, tough situation very seriously. But I want to give a round of applause to Congressman Lynch. He's always here in the City of Champions. And, and he's always repping us well. And thank you to all our friends of the COA as well. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, you know, we can't do our job without your support. And we work together, and that's what makes us the City of Champions. We're known for our sports figures in the past, but we work together as a team. And uh, that's how you get things done in this community and in the Commonwealth as well. So I'm very honored to be here. I'm very proud of the work that we do working together, all of us collaboratively as a team. And again, thank you to the COA, and I look forward to getting this back lot constructed, but also more work for the COA because... You know, you've been there through thick and thin for us, and if it wasn't for us, we, for, for yourselves, your generation is the greatest generation. We wouldn't be here to assemble in a free assembly like we are able to do today. So God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'd like to also acknowledge our city planner, Rob May. Mr. May did say he was bringing cookies today. I, re I recall that email. Um, I'd like to also welcome um, our city council president, Shirley Azak. Thank you, Brian. Well, hello, everybody. I have to tell you, this this is the most exciting thing we've done in a while. And I'm happy to be here because it's a positive thing. And I hope we have more groundbreakings like this and see wonderful events where we have our congressman, our senator, our mayor, and um, all of the Brockton delegation together. I think this is exciting. So with that being said, I want to thank Janice Fitzgerald, her team, everyone here at the COA. Um, for everything they've done for this, for this groundbreaking, for the COA itself, for staying, staying positive throughout this pandemic. So I want to thank them for all their hard work, the committee, and I look forward to seeing this parking lot filled with all your cars. So with that being said, thank you, and hopefully it doesn't pour on us. Thank you, Janice. Okay, so now the exciting part comes, the official turning of the soil. So, oh, hold on, I need my glasses. Where are my glasses? I got them. Okay, so first, Mayor Sullivan. Michelle, could you assist with handing shovels, please? Council President Shirley Azek. Senator Michael Brady. Mike Morris from Procurement. Mike was, uh, Mike has been a great support for me, so 
The least I could do is let him shovel some dirt. <laughs> but he's going to owe me big time. <laughs> uh, Matt Grishito from Outback Engineer, it, Engineering. Carol DeLore, representing the Building Committee. Congressman Lynch. Thank you very much. Thank you. Larry Rowley. I think we need a bigger pile of dirt. <laughs> Troy Claxon. If I could have a representative from the Friends group, how about Elena? And if I could have my staff take a shovel. You're gonna have to all share a shovel. Share a shovel. Sweetie. <laughs> Ruthie, come on. Come on. Come on, Jackie. <laughs> 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 Gotta get Troy in there. He might find some money in there somewhere, so. Yeah, okay. That's the sound of the be shy. Yeah. working on the chain. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? On the count of three. Mia, you want to give us the countdown? Sure. One, two, three. Yay! Yay! Oh, my back. <laughs> 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 <laughs>